How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Headlocks and Hot Packs. And if you saw our last card opening video, which was 1990 Tops Football, as promised, we are partying like it's 1999 today. We have a, oops, sorry for the glare, a complete set of 99 Tops. Picked this up at the indoor flea market. Uh, it was sealed. I unsealed it. And, uh... Grabbed a small stack out just to make sure that there wasn't going to be, uh, like any paper loss. Uh, because I didn't want to bother starting a video of this and getting into it and having all the cards be completely stuck together. They are stuck together, however, they, uh, didn't seem to cause any damage. So, um, we got a 462 card set today to get through. There are some, uh, quality rookies in here. We're going to be pulling out guys like... Pat Burrell, you got Vernon Wells, Mike Lowell, and Carlos Lee. Uh, They're on the same card, those two. All the rookies in here, except for like one or two, they are all um, two players on the same card. And you also got guys like AJ Burnett as we get a look at our first ones here. There's Carl Everett. I'm going to try to go through these as quickly as I can. But you can see they do pull apart pretty nicely. And all the cards remain in good shape. Here's a look at the back. I'm sure uh, some people have seen these before. Justin Thompson there. Mike Cameron. Scott Brocious. Oh, I'm sure there will be a little bit of that as we try to uh, carefully pull these apart and then end up dropping them. The one drawback of buying complete sets like this is... You're obviously not going to pull Bobby Abreu. You're obviously not going to pull um, any inserts unless there are uh, complete set exclusive inserts. Eric Young there. Aramis Ramirez back in his days with the Pirates. It's probably going to be a lot of uh, shiny glare coming off the cards in this video. Yeah, somebody stuck to the back of Mike Montgomery there. Another pirate, there's Francisco Cordova. Bunch of pirates in a row here. Almost in a row, Jose Guillen. Charlie Hayes. Looks like all of the uh, horizontal cards are all together. And just, of course, as I say that, it switches up. Eric Milton, Dave Martinez. Of course, I'm also looking to Grab some Griffies out of here. Kenny Rogers. I do not remember him with the Oakland A's at all. I mostly remember him uh, with the Texas Rangers, as I'm sure most people do. Woody Williams, A.J. Hinch, Gold Cup card. Of course, he was the Stroh's manager. J.T. Snow was a big name prospect back in the day. There is Jason Schmidt. He had some good years. Scott Rowland, possible future Hall of Famer. There is Canseco. I don't really remember him with the Blue Jays either. Start a pile there for that. Bill Taylor, Tony Fernandez. RIP to Tony Fernandez. Somebody stuck to the back of him too. Gotta make sure I don't skip anything here. There's Johnny Damon, Todd Walker, Will Clark. And Jeff King. There was a saying about Johnny Damon after he uh, left the Red Sox for the Yankees. And it was that he uh, talks like Judas, looks like Jesus, and throws like Mary. <laughs> for all you religious folk out there. There's Juan Gone. John Flaherty. I went to school with a guy named John Flaherty. I'm sure that's a... Pretty common name, the crime dog, Fred McGriff. Oh, takes the tumbles. Sorry, Fred McGriff. Doug Glanville, longtime ESPN analyst, Ray Sanchez. Ray Lankford. Would that be a Ray Ray? The Ray Ray combination there. Rick Aguilera. These are stuck just enough so that I can't just, uh, thumb through them. I have to f actually physically pull them up 
apart from one another. Jason McDonald. Sean Green, he had a nice career. Dean Palmer, he had a nice career as well. Made uh, at least one all-star team with the Texas Rangers. And then Paul Sorrento, uh, his days with the Diamondbacks there. This is we move on to our next stack. I'm feeling this video will probably end up being longer than intended just because... Uh, we have to pull these apart. There's Jeff Cirillo, Jose Hernandez. Some well, some of these ones are coming apart nicely. Dave Nielsen, Roger Cedeno, getting crunched. Back to the stickiness. Steve uh, Woodard there. Vinny Castilla, find his rookie card in 1992. Mark Kotze, he was one of the big prospects for the double A team. There's a nice Bagwell in uh, my neck of the woods, the Portland Sea Dogs. He used to be a part of the Marlins farm system, and Mark Kotze was one of the names people talked about during that time. There's a solid Sheffield, Jorge Posada. Nice Jorge Posada there. Brian Meadows. Mark Loretta. Mark Loretta had a solid career too. Also spent time with the Red Sox. Levon Hernandez won a World Series with those Florida Marlins. There's Andy Pettit. Mickey Morandini. Even towards the end of his career. Another little rote. Rod Beck. Also has rookie card 92. Ishmael Valdez, Troy Percival, speaking of solid careers, Albert Bell, so some uh, semi stars as I would say here. Jim Edmonds, Eddie Taubensee, still a couple of, uh, still a few Edmonds rookie cards I need to get. Brett Boone, Ken Hill, hideous Angels jerseys, I hated those jerseys. So brutal. There's Mo Rivera. That's a nice one. Eric Karos. A lot of these cards are pretty nicely centered, too. Here's a solid one. Todd Helton Gold Cup card. And speaking of big name Marlins prospects or Portland Sea Dogs players, Charles Johnson was all the craze when uh, we got that double A team, which was in 93, I believe, or 94. David Wells, Kerry Wood there, Jose Vizcaino, Brant Brown. Haven't seen any rookies yet. There is good old Chuck Knobloch. Mama said Knobloch, you out. Maglia Ordonez, Gold Cup, another solid one there. Derek Bell, Todd Dunwoody, beautiful photography on these, like the, like on this Marlins logo, the colors really pop in that picture there. There's Garrett Anderson, another guy that had a nice career. Darren Dreifert, of course you can see how uh, shiny these are, look at that there, which is why I'm... Uh, having an issue pulling these apart. We saw a glimpse of Jeter there coming up. Cal Eldred. This is like 90, early 90s upper deck. Daryl Strawberry there. Derek Lee, another guy who had a good career. Davey Cruz. And there is a nice looking Jeter. Looks like um, slightly off-centered, but solid Jeter. Nonetheless, there's Roger Clemens, and I believe that's card number one. There we have it right there, card number one in the set. Followed by the Ryan Express. So a couple of great pitchers, all-time great pitchers, back-to-back -back there. Greg Vaughn. There is Pedro. First one out of this that I'll be adding to my... Red Sox binder, and Vladi Guerrero Sr. So some solid ones in this little handful there. 
Mike Caruso. There is David Wells' highlights, season highlights. He pitched the perfect game. I still remember that. Not well enough to say like it was yesterday. As well as Kerry Wood striking out 20. There is a highlights card for Clemens notching his 3,000 strikeout. Sosa hitting 20 homers by June. Looks like this one took some slight... A little bit of paper loss there. Hardly noticeable. There's McGuire. Most homers in a three-year span. So all our season highlights are stuck together. Here's another one for... Uh, actually, no, nope, that won't make its way into the Red Sox binder because uh, still with the Indians at this point, there's Manny Ramirez himself. Matt Williams, his days with the Diamondbacks. Of course, everybody will always remember him as a San Francisco Giant. My opinion, anyways. Could be wrong. That's just that's just how I feel, folks. Here's one issue with trying to get sets out. This things topple over. Let's try to keep everything sturdy there. There's Big Mac's regular base. Very nice one there. Matt Walbeck, David Cohn. And our first checklist. There should be... Oh, here we go. Are you going to put them all together? Here we go. Here's our first rookies. There's Bruce Chen is probably the most notable name there. Chuck Abbott, Brent Butler, and Danny Clausen. Here's a look at the back of the rookies. Not like a huge fan of the multiplayer uh, rookie cards. Brad Penny and Octavio Dotel, the notable guys there. Looks like we got somebody stuck to the back. Nope. Mistaken. Ben Davis. Michael Barrett. Ben Davis was, uh, some people were kind of crazed over him. Jason Worth, prospects. Ramon Hernandez. Actually, I don't think all of these are actually rookie cards. Like, this one is Jeremy Giambi. Like, there's Lance Berkman, but I, that's not actually his rookie. Ricky Lede, notable one there. That one is an actual rookie. Felt like something was stuck to the back there. Again, I was incorrect. Back to the base players. Ron Gant, there's Chan Ho Park. Billy Wagner is a borderline Hall of Famer. Roberto Kelly. Brad Radke. Paul Konerko, very early in his career. There he is with the Reds. Hideki Arabu was since passed. Roberto Hernandez. There's Kenny Lofton. Is this his first time around with the Indians? Second time around with the Indians there. Travis Lee, another big name prospect. So a bunch of uh, guys that were big name prospects and didn't really work out in this set. Eric Davis, Omar Vizquel. Oh, hideous Angels jerseys again. Sean Bergman, and the last one here, Andy Fox. As we approach just about halfway through, I'd say we're at the halfway point. Now that we've picked up this stack, there's Jim Leeritz on the Padres. That's a definitely unfamiliar sight there. Here's draft picks, Adam Brown and Chu Freeman. More draft picks, Jeff Urban, Chris Jones, Tony Torcato, and Arturo McDowell. I don't remember either one of those guys. Josh McKinley and Jason Tyner. Tyner's the name I recognize there. Matt Birch, Seth Etheron, Ether almost at Etherton. Rick Elder, Mamone Tucker. Not a big fan of this draft picks design. Uh, Ryan Mills and... Who is that? Does that say I am gold? J.M. Gold. That said I am gold. Like, what a conceited bunch of parents he must have had. World Series subset. These are pretty nice. Oh, it looks like we got one stuck to the back of Mo. Nice foil finish there. Mo Rivera. There's Andy Pettit. This is the 98 series 
between the Pods and the Yankees was not much of a series at all. El Duque there, Orlando Hernandez, Tino Martinez, Bernie Williams, Chuck Knobloch, and then Ricky Lede. I think somebody stuck to the back of him too. Uh, league leaders, another subset with this same foil finish, Roger Clemens. Here's Maddox. Let's see who is on the back of him there. Pretty cool looking subset cards. Glad that they didn't, uh, there's a nice Jeter. Usually the subset cards, uh, I find a lot of times keep basically, uh, a lot of times the same design as the regular base set. It was a nice Sosa. Here's A-Rod, hits leader for the American League. Dante Bichette led the NL in hits. Juan Gonzalez. Another Sosa, RBI leader. And a pretty sweet Griffey. First Griffey grab out of this box. That will go... Uh, where can we put that? That's going to reflect too badly there. That will go in the Griffey binder. There's a Big Mac. Bernie Williams led the AL in batting average. And new Hall of Famer Larry Walker as we get back into the base. This is some of the ones that I thumbed through to make sure that they weren't stuck together too bad. FP Santangelo. There's a name I haven't thought of in ages. Gabe Alvarez. There is Sosa's regular base. A lot of people forget he uh, could definitely steal some bags back in the day. Didn't, I think he went 30-30, I'm pretty sure. Darren Erstad. Whoops. Jason Kendall taking second there. Gerald Williams. Darren Bragg. There's Andrew Jones. I think he should probably get a little bit more Hall of Fame consideration. Not sure that he will is worthy, but uh, at least consideration. Javi Lopez. And then Mo Vaughn with the Red Sox before leaving for the Angels. Again, that will go in the Red Sox binder. There's Jimmy Haynes, Jose Valentin, or Valentin, Armando Benitez, David Segui. Look at the ham hocks on that. Look at the thigh muscle there bulging out. I think I'd say his... Uh, Pants are a little tight there. Daryl Kyle, rest in peace. Brian Giles. There is Greg Maddox. Arguably the best pitcher of the 90s. Back-to-back -back Hall of Famers. Edgar Martinez there. Mike Bordick from my home state of Maine. I think we need to flip these. There's Brad Fulmer. Scott Hatterberg. Most people probably remember him primarily from... Uh, movie Moneyball. Scott Hatterberg was a catcher. There's a decent old rude. And Bartolo Colon. Hatterberg was a catcher and then uh, developed an issue throwing to second base and was of course um, basically out of baseball J-Bell and got brought back to play for the Athletics playing first base I don't think he played catcher again. I could be incorrect on that. There's the big cat, Andres Galarraga. Looks like something took a little bit of a ding coming up here in a little bit. Hopefully it's just a common. Mike Mussina, Tom Goodwin. I'm not going to call out every name. I'm sure everybody can read. I've just been trying to say some because uh, of how badly the reflection is. Saberhagen, when he kind of revitalized his career a little bit there with Boston. Dave Burba. Speaking of Boston, Jeff Facero. I think he started out with the Red Sox. Brian Johnson. Here is another Hall of Famer, Trevor Hoffman. Trevor Hall of Fameman. Ben Grieve, Gold Cup, Butch Husky. Jarrett Wright. And here is the Griffey base. Beautiful shot of the kid there. Definitely like that one. Another nice Griff. Rondell White. 
trying to recall if there's any like quality rookies in um, tops tra in 99 tops traded Brady Anderson. The only one I can think of is a Red Sox Tony Gwynn Hall of Famer, and uh, I wouldn't really qualify as a quality rookie, which would be uh, Brian Dawback. Although I think he wasn't he the rookie of the year. I think he might have been Fernando Vina, Marquise Grissom. You'll have to forgive me. My baseball knowledge is uh, pretty good. It's definitely not as good as my basketball knowledge. Jeff Shaw, Fernando Tatis Sr., or uh, as the past is alive says, Fernand Fernando Tatis. Show me your Tatis. Chili Davis. Someone stuck to the back of him. There is Omar Dahl. The Diamondbacks. Ramiro Mendoza. Bill Sims rookie card. I don't know if that's actually a rookie. Steve Traxel. There's an early Halliday. I might have that one already, actually. Nice Roy Halliday. That's uh, not his rookie. His rookie, I believe, was 98. David Ortiz, very early in his career. This is the first Ortiz card I've ever owned where he's not on the Red Sox, so that's a pretty nice one to have there. Of course, his rookie in 97, Fleer. Uh, it's not David Ortiz, it's David Arias. Or Ar Arias. Miguel Cairo. I definitely would love to add a David Ortiz rookie to my collection. Those 97 Fleer boxes are not cheap. I know this is definitely a rookie, Kerry Leitenberg, but not one that I'm looking for. There's a nice Beltre. I think he'll definitely get in the Hall of Fame. Bernard Gilkey. Brian Hunter looking like, uh, I don't know, the Lone Ranger there, I guess. Of course, he's trying to look like a thief with those bags in his, under his arms. It's a pretty interesting picture of him. And then Ricky Lede there. As we get closer to the end of our set break, Jeff Abbott, Jeff Conine, Mike Lansing laying one down, Wade Boggs, it'll always look weird to me seeing him in a Rays uniform, Tom Candiotti, Richard Hidalgo, let's see, just look at how grossly, ugh, just... How grotesque are those Angels jerseys? Right, I'm not going to keep harping on it. That was Ramon Martinez we saw there. Pat Henkin. Daryl Hamilton. I don't remember him with the Rockies. Hal Morris. And Miguel Tejada will go on to win an AL MVP award. Eli Marrero. John Thompson, obviously not to be confused with the basketball coach. Matt Franco, don't recall Matt Franco. John Jaha, or as some people say, Jaha. I think it's Ja, kind of like a pause, and then Ha. Best of my knowledge, at least. There's Matt Morris. Again, I apologize if I'm not, uh, I feel like I'm doing a fairly good job of keeping the glare off the camera. Eric Chavez, I think that's second year for him. Mike Hampton, I always remember Mike Hampton uh, hitting bombs even though he was a pitcher. I feel like there was a time when he would hit at least like two or three home runs every year. Or at least one anyways. There is Jay Buhner. Al Leiter, another guy that had a nice career. Tim Salmon, hot prospect. Back in the day, Jeff Kent. Jeff Kent definitely should get more Hall of Fame consideration. I mean, when was the last time a second baseman... There's a nice Ripken. When was the last time a second baseman won the MVP award? Tom Glavin in... Uh, I don't know what that jersey is. ABC, very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that that uh, version of a Braves jersey before. There's Giambi, Tino Martinez. It might not even be a Braves jersey. 
Alex Rodriguez, Henry Rodriguez. There's a Bernie Williams. I see a couple of his cards in this set here. I think he's got like three or four. There's Schilling, speaking of guys that should be in the hall. Sandy Alomar Jr. Ryan Klesko. Before leaving the Braves for the Padres, I believe it was. And then Jeremy Gonzalez there. Probably have uh, two more stacks left to go. Paul O'Neill for the Yanks. I still need to do a... Uh, there's a nice BGO. I need to do a rookie PC baseball video. We've done basketball already. And I still want to do... Uh, there's Mark Grace. I still need to do the... Um, my like p insert uh, basketball PC basically inserts parallels serial numbered cards there's that trademark high leg kick for El Duque uh, autographs relics of John Smoltz there so I'm gonna get to that at some point here on the channel there was Larry Walker nice Chipper Jones three Hall of Famers in a row there and then David Justice on the Indians. So there's a pretty solid run of good players there. Speaking of Hall of Famers, we got Pudge. And then Frank Thomas and Jim Tomey. So a number of Hall of Famers here towards the end of this set break. Kevin Millwood. And another one there, Mike Piazza. Nomar Garcia Para. Goes in my Red Sox binder. Don't mind if I do. There's a nice Bonds. I don't see too many pictures of him running the bases. Moises Alou. Bunch of decent players here towards the end. Sean Casey, Carlos Delgado, and Carlos Perez. Back to back on the Los, Troy Gloss. And then Jeff Blauser. So Carlos, then Carlos, then Gloss, then Blosser. Pretty weird there. Bobby Bonilla. Kevin Brown, the Dodgers. Mostly remember him for his time with the Rangers. Joey Hamilton. Greg Jeffries on the Tigers. There's a nice Roberto Alomar. I still need to get his rookie out of uh, 88 Donruss. Robin Ventura, Ken Caminiti. Another guy who uh, died too early. Devon White. Here's, uh, what do we got here? All tops, first baseman, saluting quality first baseman. Bagwell, Galarraga, and McGuire there. The backs of these almost look like, um, they kind of remind me of, just because of how glossy they are, they kind of remind me of the backs of, uh, like some of the first tops finest cards. Big unit Randy Johnson there. I saw he had a, a, a Randy Johnson on the back of this stack, too. We still haven't seen any of the rookies that we wanted, either. So, here we go with one of those right now. There's Pat Burrell's rookie card. So, we'll probably get a run of uh, the draft picks cards now. Here's Adam Everett's rookie, along with Chip Ambers. I think that's pronounced that way. And there is the Matt Holiday rookie card, so very nice. That's a pretty good one there, Matt Holiday. I think he'll uh, get some Hall of Fame consideration as well. Brad Lidge had some nice years closing for the Houston Astros. Austin Kearns rookie card, he's the notable one there. Nate Bump and Nate Corneo. Let me put the Kearns over there. Sorry, there we go. A couple of Nates on that one. Matt Belisle and Matt Roney. Not Macaroni, but Matt Roney. Maddox Clemens and Kerry Wood on that one. I think we need to... Yeah, we're going upside down again. So that's the All Tops pitchers. Here's All Tops catchers. Piazza, Rodriguez, and Jason Kendall. Next we have Outfielders. Vladdy G, Greg Vaughn on the Cincinnati Reds, and then Bernie Williams 
Interesting choice for the outfielders. You would think Griffin, like Sosa, would be on there. Tops all rookies, Todd Helton, Ben Grieve. Of course, on this one, uh, Todd Helton is the only one that really panned out. All designated hitter, uh, hitters, Frank Thomas, Tim Salmon, David Justice. Here we go, more uh, all tops outfielders. That makes much more sense. So we got Bonds, Manny, and Larry Walker. And here's more. So just as I suspected, I didn't realize Sosa and Griffey would be on the same card. So uh, that's a little weird that happened after I said it. Here's shortstops. A-Rod, Nomar, and Jeter. And third baseman, there's Chipper. Vinny Castilla, Scott Rowland. See, it's a conundrum for me there because I want to put the Nomar. There's Olrud, Tomi, and Tino. I want to have the Nomar for my Red Sox binder, but I can't really justify that because Jeter's on there too and A-Rod. Strikeout Kings, this is must be a subset. Yep, number 449, there's Pedro there. And then the big unit, Randy Johnson. So... Nice subset cards in here as we hit our final stack. Some more Strikeout Kings. There is Schilling, followed by Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens. You had to know he was going to be on the Strikeout Kings. Some more checklists, Series 2 checklists. List as this is. Some more prospects there is the Vernon Wells rookie card. Another one of the ones that we were looking for. Put him in our rookie pile. And then Billy Koch and A.J. Burnett. John Nicholson, I'm not familiar with him. And another one here. Corey Koski, Damon Miner, Doug Menkevich. Part of the uh, Red Sox reversing the curse, so he goes... In my rookie PC, Jose Fernandez, not the one people might be thinking of, obviously. Adam Kennedy, Mickey Loeb, Adam Kennedy is the name I recognize there. There's Gabe Kapler. That's the most notable one. Armando Rios and Fernando Seguinal. Jason LaRue, Matt LaCroix, Mitch Molusky, Ruben Mateo, Mike Zawicka, and Scott Morgan. Jason Rakers, John Rocker, he was a big name prospect back then, very uh, controversial name these days, Randy Wolf, Michael Kadire, Jerry Hairston Jr., and Mark DeRosa, rookie card, I'll set that one aside, I'm not sure that that actually is a rookie or not, Orlando Cabrera, same deal there, I'm not sure that it is, here's the one I really wanted, Mike Lowell and Carlos Lee. Mike Lowell, the 07 World Series MVP for my Boston Red Sox. Pretty nice rookie there. There's Henderson on the Mets. He basically played for <laughs> every team in the big leagues there is. Delano de Shields, Luis Gonzalez, the World Series hero for the Diamondbacks in uh, 2001, I believe that was. Edgar Renteria. There's Clemens' regular base, even though we've seen um, like three or four of his cards already in here. Brad Osmus. There's a Paul Marrow. He will never get into the hall. Steve Finley. Dustin Hermanson. Wagging that finger uh, in Congress will forever haunt Rafael Paul Marrow, member of the 500 Homer Club who, as I said, will not get into the Hall of Fame. There's Brian McRae, Calvin Pickering, don't really recall him, or Ryan McGuire. John Franco, towards the end of his career. Pete Harnish, looks like we got some other like subsets or something coming up at the end there. Looks like one had a McGuire on there. Hideo Nomo with the Mets. Todd Zeal. There's Ugi Urbina. Also would go on to play for the Sox. A pitcher batting on his trading card, John Burkett. I think we've seen Bill Miller. I have an autographed Bill Miller uh, 
baseball bat. He was the uh, American League batting champion in 2003 as a member of the Boston Red Sox. I think it was 2003. But um, got his autograph bat for obviously a pretty cheap price because it's just Bill Miller. It's not like it's um, a Mark McGuire signed bat. Preston Wilson. Really like how that Marlins color pops in these cards. Carlos Guillen, Tom Gordon there, D. Gordon's dad. Rico Bronia. As we get towards the end here, thanks for uh, sticking with us, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed this set break here. And if you did hit that uh, thumbs up button down below, definitely appreciate any support we can get. And uh, if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, please go ahead and do so. Kirk Reuter, or Reuter, Reuter, not sure how you say that. Carl Pavano, Pedro Astacio, Mike Jackson, Sean Estes, Tim Wakefield, into the Red Sox binder. You go, buddy. Dwight Gooden on the Indians. I do not recall that. As we get into our final cards here, Chris Chris Widger there, Travis Fryman, some more landscape design cards, Desi Brelliford, Tony Batista, the man with probably the most interesting batting stance of all time, where he was literally just facing the pitcher. I'm sure you could look it up on YouTube. A very, very weird batting stance. I've never seen one like that since. Troy O'Leary, Richie Sexton, that's early in his career, Wilton Guerrero, Pokey Reese, and here is our final two subset cards, home run record, Mark McGuire on there with uh, Roger Maris, and then home run parade, Sammy Sosa, also on there with Roger Maris, so some nice, uh, some nice subset cards there too. So I'm pretty satisfied with this box. Like I said, everything was a little bit stuck together, but uh, everything came out basically clean. And uh, for 20 bucks for a sealed set, we were able to add some nice rookies to our PC and a bunch of stuff more to add to our binders. So again, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We still got some more 99 coming up, which will be 99 Fleer Tradition Football, and that will be our next box opening. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.